Hello there and welcome. Uh, today we thought we'd uh, keep you updated with our uh, new brood of uh, stick insects. Yeah, just a quick video before we give them some fresh leaves. Yeah, before. Uh, I mean, these uh, stick insects, in my at least in my opinion, and uh, I know a few keepers say that they're the easiest. Mm -hmm stick insects to uh, look after. Yeah, these ones are Indian stick insects. Yeah. Which they'll eat. That in there is uh, English ivy because we have a load of it at the bottom of the garden. It's easier for us, but they'll eat um, bramble, which covers blackberries, raspberries, um, and stuff like that. Privet as well. Privet is a very good um, source of food mm. for them as well because it's in abundance here in the UK as well. I mean, you can, you, it's everywhere. In the, um, I know this might be a bit boring, but I know during the war, uh, well, just after the war, they actually started introducing privet to the gardens to separate the uh, front gardens. And, boundary. Yeah, uh, they were used as boundary points, the same as with farming. Anyway. <laughs> me having a little bit of a history thing but you can actually see them they're so tiny look at them there's quite so a lot tiny. in there there's a load of them we've actually had a lot of success in this we've tried a couple of times um trying to get them the hatchlings to yeah try their over and to try and hatch like with a bit of paper towel in at all mm -hmm. but didn't have much success with the last lot did we? No, in small tubs with the paper and um, a bit of moisture it it kind of it encourages a lot of mold growth. mold growth so then you're ending up losing a lot of your eggs and uh, your batch uh, will. There is other ways we like a bit of substrate vermiculite and yeah but we tried it with what we had there yeah but we ended up with about three or four nymphs maybe, which are pretty near for, for a while until they could give in the bigger one. You can see them there, they're and actually fighting. <laughs> there's yeah. a bit of a tester when I cleaned out the adults, all the like dried up leaves, the like bits of waste and the eggs are just scooped up and as you can see underneath I just sprinkled it round the bottom and just left, left them to it really and it's turned out quite well, We've got we? a tank full now, haven't we? We have got a tank full. Um, so these are the babies. I've got a couple out of... We've got a netted enclosure. It's always best with the adults. The adults um, grow a couple of inches. Oh, here we go. Come here. I think he's going to be a stick today. So you can see he... It's fairly good, look, you know. I mean, he had a little trouble here. You can see he's had a little trouble with his malt when he came out of his last malt. So these guys will actually malt similar to, uh, well, any creature really, especially oh, a spider. Nice. So as they grow older, they'll leave leave your lovely little skins around the uh, uh, tanks. And he, at the moment, I mean, I see, are you going to? No, he isn't. But here, these They're are actually dead. his front legs, look. They will play dead. And he'll stick his front legs out at the front, look. Oh, he's opening his legs, look. He's like, oh, balancing. Oh, oh, oh. Give him a little wiggle. That's a leave me alone. That's a leave me alone, yeah, I know. Come on, we'll show everybody how beautiful you are. You can see a little bit of red as well. Can you see that? No, we get red on the legs when they're mature as well. Yeah, which is lovely to see. I mean, these... Uh, stick insects was, will also breed on their own as well. They don't yeah. always need a male. They will actually um, sort of like clone themselves, but there's not quite. I know there's a word for it, word for it but they are lovely creatures. Usually when I get them out, they're, they're gone. <laughs> They'll just climb everywhere trying to run away. The one thing with these I've found is they're not very keen on the heat from your hands. As soon as they they hit your hands, they they don't want to know. Yeah. But it's pretty simple setup, like I say. 
Um, you'll probably need, uh, well, you definitely need a larger tank than this. I mean, the size difference between this adult and one of these babies, there you go. One of these babies is amazing. We separate them as well because they... So the the they, adult serene. Yeah. It's about two foot wide, probably about two and a half foot tall. Yeah. And about a foot wide. Mm -hmm. Which is in closure or made and it's like just mainly netting. Yeah, which it gives them great points for clambering on. Yeah, there you go. You see his little tiny feet. Look at those. It's got little hooks, tiny, tiny hooks at the bottom that will grab onto that netting. See? And onto leaves and so on. So, what we do is we have actually used a small paint tub. A children's paint tub because so, yeah, non spill non spill one non spill paint tub yeah. in the great cheap and I think that was a pack of three yeah really cheap then yes. these are quite cheap to to keep as well if you can get your hands on them they're good for children as well as long as you supervise them they are animals that you can't leave them unsupervised but uh, Anyway, back to the tub. We put a little bit of a, a something like a bag. A or... plastic bag just to stop them yeah, falling, from falling in, the in the water. And then all it is really is when they start eating the plant down or when the plant starts to die, it's probably best to uh, take all, all your sticks out. That's the fun part. <laughs> when you're cleaning them out, it's always great to clean them out with a tub. And... <laughs> I think we had a view to them. Uh, probably best to keep them in a tub because they will escape. They'll go everywhere. You'll have stick insects all over the house. So it's best to be careful. Um, there's not really much else to them, really. I mean, just to say oh, that wow. this setup has actually started to work for us and we've got uh, an abundance of babies, which they will, when they get larger, I'll move, I'm going to move them into the other tank. So they'll, they'll be about an inch or so. Big and I'll move them onto the other tank to stop any fighting or there is one a decent size. So he's in, he's there. in there somewhere. I the think, easier, I think he's, up here, eh? he's here on the back there. He's actually there. Can you see him? Well, kind of the sticks. <laughs> They're excellent camouflage. Yeah, there's a decent yeah. size one there. Yeah, come back a bit because you're able to frame. There we go. There. Is that big long bit there? See, it's almost that size. One there as well at the top. Yeah. So you still have to be a bit careful, but they're they're so cute, and I love them. They're fantastic. So it um, took a while picking all them out to uh, give them fresh leaves. Then. <laughs> yes, it's it's usually better when the leaves start to die mm. off. Or as long as they've always got greenery and um before we go as well um give them a little bit of a spray every couple of days just to i know we miss them uh, yeah. every morning yeah well you yeah i do it every couple of days because i don't want to over water the base um so thank you for joining us and uh, i know it's been a bit of a long video but those who have held in there Hello, kitten. Cat again. <laughs> Those who have held in there to watch the cat jump <laughs> on the table, you are absolute stars. Thank you very much for joining us. So that's a thank you from me. And thank you from me. So, uh, the usual. Like and subscribe. And have a brilliant day. Goodbye.